Yo, 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 what is up everybody? This is your boy Pauza here, bringing back another banger video. Um, this video is, as you can see by the title, this is going to be the easiest way to find and get the Siege Breaker schematic or the gun. Uh, but before we get right into the video, make sure you follow my Twitch because my Twitch is always doing giveaways and uh, it's growing so it's doing good. And my Discord, well, you got to join that because there's a bunch of trading in there, legit traders and 24-7 giveaways. We are monitoring and doing background checks on every single person who joins making sure they're not scammers and whatnot so yeah you might want to check that out and also make sure you find this 106 and not turn it on the screen because if you find that then post it down below when you find it and then like the video join the discord and then the gun's yours um but yeah simple as that oh i'm gonna put this sunbeam soon for sure but before we get right into the video again Make sure you right. Okay, this is this is big deal here. Make sure you please please like the video. I need I I want to get ten likes. Sorry, right? I want to get ten likes. I think I've not hit ten likes in a video, so just ten likes would be great. I know I don't ask for likes, but ten likes would be great. All right. So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, you click this video because you want the siege breaker schematic. Am I right or am I right? So you want these beautiful things: fire, water. Uh, nature and energy. Well, if you ask me, if you say, wait, hey, pause it, how the hell did you get these? Well, for one, obviously, my levels are 97, so obviously, I'm gonna get it pretty easy. But if you're a low level, around about from, you know, level 10 to like level, you know, 50, and you still not got a good siege breaker schematic, well, this is the easiest way. This is the easiest way. So you got the fire and the water and the nature and energy there. I've got all of them. And this is how most people will get all of them. So if you scroll down you through your schematics, I know you have like loads of schematics like this, and then you scroll right down. See, this is where it gets good. Some people don't realize this. It's such an easy way, but some people have not realized this whatsoever. You see this striker, right? Okay. If you upgrade it and then increase rarity, you get the blue version. And then once you've done that, you get to get the blue. So imagine this is the blue version. You upgrade the blue version's rarity, and then you get the siege breaker purple equalizer. And then if you upgrade that, you get the next version, which I have not. Wait, have I got one? No, I have not got one. But then obviously you get this version, and then you can upgrade it to whatever level you want. Now to show you basically what it, I'll use mine. So let me pick a good seed, uh, a striker. So let me just say, so there's this one. All right, we'll do this one because it's got more green, All right? So we'll increase the rarity on this. It takes a hundred rare flux. Uh, like I said, it's the doubled amount of rare flux in the, uh, in the store. So it's really not hard to, you know, to actually upgrade rarity and things. It doesn't take a while. It just take, it'll take long the time to get the breacher schematic or the equalizer or whatnot. So it's great this new uh, recombobular update. Hmm. Now here's a pickle. Let's see. Hmm. The, the elements all physical, unfortunately. So we if we do upgrade this all the way, it's going to be a physical element, which isn't too bad. But I think I think I probably might have to go for. I don't know. I think I'd have to go for... I'll get, you know what? I'll go for this. I'm going to go for this only because it's blue already. All right? So we're going to increase the rarity. It takes 100 epic flux. Get that? That's the equalizer now. Boom. Equalizer. So we have a nature one, but obviously we already have a nature one, so there's no point. We want a, you know, physical damage one. So this is the, this is the final one. Critical rating, weapon stability, physical and 32% damage element, and then the 20% damage, and then the 30% damage to afflicted targets, which unfortunately is completely useless because this gun hasn't got affliction on it. But we'll see what we get it. We, we, might get our, we might get it if we upgrade it to the legendary type. So hopefully this is going to take, well, this is going to take 100 legendary flux, and hopefully we will see. Oh, well. It already tells you what you get. So there you go. It already says headshots, elimination, cause an explosion damage uh, enemies with 0.5 tiles for 30% weapon damage. I wonder if it's like that with every single one. Let me see. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, so it tells you. So this is where it tells you. So it can actually... Hmm. There we go. Look. So, okay, we'll upgrade this one. We'll upgrade this one rarity as well. We, we have plenty of this kind of stuff. There we go. And then this one will give us damage dealt. This one will give us damage dealt. And then increase the rarity on this one. Uh, and then, where, where did that go? It was this one. And then this one would give us, 
this one would give us cause and affliction. Okay, now this one gives us cause and affliction. This is what we want. We like the affliction. So it says there, level 25, cause and affliction. That was the one we just did. And then if you go to this one, this one's only headshot eliminations, which is great for Urban Head Assault. And then there's this one. Uh, there's the damage dealt with this weapon snares a target by 30%. And then there's this one. Damage dealt with this weapon snares a target once again. So, this is the one I want to go for. Even though it hasn't got the best bonus perks at the minute, it's got the main 25 perk, what we cannot change what I want. So we are going to increase the rarity on that. And then you will see that now, if we hover the weapon, it says cause an affliction damage for six seconds. So we've got ourselves a brand new good siege breaker. This siege breaker is going to be quality. The reason why I say that is because it's already got the affliction for this gun. And you want affliction for a siege breaker or miss monster damage. So now we've got that. Pretty much, if we modify perks, we can change whatever we want, and we can make a quality, quality siege breaker. Obviously, you can change the element of whatever. It's going to take the modification costs, but for me, I don't have to change any of the elements because I have every single element. So, what you want to do is, is you want to just replace and change whatever you want, and that how that is how you get an amazing siege breaker. Now, I only have three thousand modification costs. I don't really need to use it on this gun. I would show you. But I, it takes too long for me to get modification, uh, modification perks, perk, you know, perk ups and uh, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, if I was to do this siege breaker though, this is what I'd say for you to do. If you've got the affliction, damage for six seconds, and you've got an element which everyone has an element now, um, I would say the best element on the siege breaker is probably, I don't know, in higher levels for me, I think I come across more nature husks, so I probably would want fire. Uh, I would say fire is a, a lot better and it looks cool as well, but it's either fire or it's water Yeah, fire or water. They're the best nature look good and it is good But I don't use my nature siege breaker a lot because there's not many there's not many, you know There's not many uh, water husks in the game. Well in higher levels So I would change this I'd treat the crit rating. I would probably put it to now, you know, I'd keep it. Yeah, I'd keep it to cr the crit rating would stay. Now, here's the thing. People, I have to say, magazine size or reload speed on Siege Breakers. Personally, I would say reload speed. The reason I say reload speed is because you can, you can easily get 30 extra bullets in, you know, a second. Not even a second. Uh, just under a second. You know, you could, well probably a second you could get another 30 bullets in under a second or you could get the magazine size which gives like five more bullets at that time if you upgrade the perk obviously the perk gets better it'll be 75 percent magazine size and 75 percent speed so i mean you know it, it, it is either the reload speed or magazine size for sure durability i really wouldn't do weapon stability i really wouldn't do i wouldn't do that but if I was to say one or the other, I would say reload speed. Reload speed by far is probably the best. So you would change that to reload speed. You would want obviously change the element to anything you need. You don't don't change it to the what element what it looks the best. Change it to an element what you've not got a lot of. Um, and then the headshot damage there, I would change that to either I'd either keep it headshot damage because urban head assault, or I'd put crit damage on it. But it already does fifty percent crit damage. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to put, or you could even put crit rating on it. But what you don't want to do is put the crit rating, crit damage. Because if you had a crit damage, another crit damage with no crit rating, if you have a gun which has crit damage and no crit rating, change the gun straight away. You want to have crit rating with crit damage. If you do not have crit rating, there is no point in having crit damage whatsoever. Um, obviously, if you want a more in-depth video on why, then please put in the comments and I will tell you everything about it and the hits and the rates and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the last perk, obviously, we have Cause and Affliction. Now, this is great because it is one of the hardest perks to get. So, obviously, you want to pick the 30% damage to flip to targets and then that would be great. That would be a great siege breaker. That would be a quality siege breaker because, obviously, you could just two shot husks and then let the affliction kick in and then they're dead and that's a level 100 husks that i i fight as well so two shot husks and then they're dead um it was same with the dragon roar i don't know if you know but the dragon roar you could literally shoot one bullet into a big slammer smasher whatever you want to call it fatty and literally it would die after one bullet the affliction six seconds would kill it uh so the higher the affliction the better uh obviously yeah, but that is the easiest way. You can do this with any gun whatsoever, any gun. 
completely any gun you could do it with i don't know you could probably do it with i don't know if you haven't got um let's say if you haven't got uh could you do it with the founder's raptor no you can't do it with the founder's raptor um can you do it with you see like these like these i would definitely do it with bloopers and ro well, rocket launchers and things what you want because i'm looking for because i already have two rocket launchers these but i really 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 want a nature one um I really need a nature one, so obviously if I get a like a blue version or a purple version of a rocket launcher and it's nature or any even element or even no element <laughs> for some reason, then uh, for sure I would uh, I would upgrade that and then yeah, uh, I would have my nature one as well. Uh, I don't know if you could upgrade wrenches, but I wouldn't say that's useful. But yeah, I, uh, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah. Thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, peace out, guys.